Yes, people, let's do this. Uh, before we start, please hit that subscription button, notification button, like button. You know, it helps us trend around YouTube, and uh, with your help, we can probably get more subscribers. So, yeah, we're going to be talking about the transfer and, you know, done deals on the deals in place. So, let's talk about this, people. Let's talk about this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Yes, people, welcome to LFC Reds Forever channel. As everybody can see, it's a news update. We're going to be talking about, you know, the signings and uh, the incomings as well. Uh, deals in place, as I always say. Um, everybody knows we've signed uh, Darwin Nunes yesterday. Um, it's official. Um, he came to the AXA training ground and, you know, took the photos, signed the contract. And uh, everything is good. Six-year contract uh, for a 22-year-old. I think that's the longest contract we've given out in a long, long time. And... Um, uh, I'm honestly over the moon with, with with his signing because I think we needed a striker, uh, and, and as I said before, like the reasons why we haven't signed a striker in the last couple of years is because of obviously Mbappe. We thought that like, we could actually generate a package for him for his um, um, you know wages, but it didn't work out. And everybody knows um, you can't compete with one million pounds a week uh, as PSG are actually doing yes so uh, the next one in is going to be uh, Fabio Carvalho from uh, Fulham Football Club obviously his contract runs out in July the 1st I can't wait for that I think he's an exciting sign he reminds me of Coutinho and everybody knows Coutinho was an outstanding player for Liverpool uh, now we've got a younger version coming in and Harvey Elliott already knows him from Fulham they came through the youth system together and uh, you know like the kid could have played for England but he cho he opted for uh, Portugal, his homeland. So yeah, he's he's, he's another player that's going to blast our attacking uh, force next season. He's he's more of the of a mold of uh, obviously players that keep position that don't really um, you know panic in certain areas, and he could get out of tight areas as well. Uh, I watched him against Man City last season in the FA Cup, and he was outstanding. He scored a goal as well. So, yeah, so these two are already you know done. I'm, I'm going to be looking forward to what's next for Liverpool. I see these three, uh, obviously, uh, Jude Bellingham, and you've got Rafinha, and you've got uh, Calvin Ramsey, uh, he, who plays for Aberdeen. Uh, the, uh, the deal is still happening at the moment with Calvin Ramsey because um, Aberdeen are, you know, they, they play hardball. Uh, Liverpool want to pay uh, four million pounds with two million pound add-ons. Uh, it depends on appearance and, and success. But Fulham, uh, sorry, uh, Aberdeen are looking for uh, around the nine million pound mark, and uh, Liverpool, you know, Liverpool. Once they get into a deal, they want to do it their way. You can't play hardball with Liverpool. If it doesn't work out, they go elsewhere. They always, like I said, they've got uh, three players in place: first option, second option, and third option. If those don't, if the first option doesn't work out, they go to the second option, and if the second option doesn't work out, they go to the third option. So that's how Liverpool Football Club works. And uh, you know about Jude Bellingham, people. Liverpool are planning. I've heard to uh, put a 100 million uh, transfer uh, towards Dortmund if they, they if they could let him go. Um, I've got, you know what, I've got hope for that because the way I'm looking at it is, you know, we've got Klopp. Klopp is a legend at Dortmund, probably their best manager that ever ever lived. I don't know, maybe he is and they love him over there. So if he intervenes and asks for a player, we'll give you this amount of money and I desperately need him. Maybe they will like cave in and say, you know what, for what you've done for us Klopp, here you go. Give us 100 million, we'll, 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 we'll give you the player. Maybe that's going to be happening. We do need a midfielder people. And Jude Bellingham is an outstanding player, young outstanding player. Um, sometimes I look at the German football. You know, even Jaden Sancho looked great over there. But you saw him in the Premier League. He's struggling a bit. Maybe next season he's going to be different. Uh, if he doesn't, it shows the quality of that league is completely, you know, uh, what we're not expecting. Because, you know, look at you look at Timo Werner as well. Um, 
everybody knew he was outstanding before he joined um, uh, Chelsea, but he's not the same player. You know what I mean? He's not the same player. Kai Havertz is a different story. He is becoming even like better and better as, as time goes along. But yeah, that's what I'm looking at, people. Uh, I don't really put my, you know, um, thoughts towards the German league because not many people have ever succeeded when they come to England uh, from there. Unless, obviously, you know, Thiago goes or all that stuff. But that's a journeyman. Like, he started at Spain. He, then he went to uh, Germany after that. Uh, Rafinha, I, I already discussed yesterday, Liverpool have placed a bid around 60 million. Uh, we're just waiting for Leeds to respond and then we're going to see what's going to happen. Mo Salah does need an actual backup if you know what I mean people I don't want Mo Salah chasing goals next season we need to do something else people we need to play as a team uh, because you know like if you want to win the Premier League you've got to play as a team you look at Man City they always play as a team they they pass to each other in important stages if you look at the last game of the season against uh, Aston Villa look at the the way Gundogan came on sco the score the, score the goals and then you look at Rodri scoring from the edge of the box you know like you got to pass to each other in, sport, in, in in important stages it's not always about the individual um, accolades we don't want to see things like that I'd rather win our trophies rather than our players winning individual trophies if you know what I mean so yeah these players are the next in place. I'm hoping we can get them. Um, Aberdeen are playing hardball. Leeds, they've got no choice. You know what I mean? They, they fought relegation last season, so they've got to make a sell, surely. And then you've got Jude Bellingham. Um, he, uh, it's not only Liverpool that's chasing him. I've heard Real Madrid are sniffing around it. And the last thing we want to do is compete with Real Madrid as uh, Tushimini, you know, um, already gone to them. And he did say when uh, he was speaking to Liverpool, but as soon as um, uh, Real Madrid showed their interest, you know, it was a no-brainer. So, yeah, so that's what I'm bringing you today. Please, you know, hit that subscription button, notification button, and like button. Any news, I'll be back here giving it to you as usual. And I'll see you, I'll see you soon.